Hello viewers, I am Kausalya. Today we are going to solve problem number 8 under the category Route Stability Criteria. This problem is quite bigger so I have divided this into two parts. Now we are going to see part 1. The problem is use the route stability criteria to determine the location of routes on the S-plane and hence the stability for the system represented by the characteristic equation. And this is the given characteristic equation. So we are asked to find whether the system is stable or not. And the next thing is we have to find the location of routes. Either the routes are located on the right half of S-plane or on the left half of S-plane. Right. So this is the given characteristic equation. The maximum power is 6 that is even number. So we have to join all the even terms, even powers together. So s to the power 6, s to the power 4, s square and finally s to the power 0. And the next term is s to the power 5. This is an odd number. So we have to connect all the odd power terms. So s to the power 5, 3s cube and 2s. Right. The next step is we have to form route array. So maximum power is s to the power 6. So we are going to write the coefficient of all the even terms here. So coefficient of s to the power 6 is 1 s to the power 4 is 3 and and s square is 3 and finally s to the power 0 is 1 right and the second is s to the power 5 here we are going to write all the coefficients of odd terms so s to the power 5 is 1 s cube is 3 and s to the power 1 is 2 right and the next step is finding s to the power 4 row so the procedure is 1 into 3 minus 3 into 1 divided by 1. Right. So here I had written that. So 3 minus 3 is equal to 0. The first term is 0. And the next step is you have to hide this column and you have to multiply. The multiplication is 1 into 3 minus 2 into 1 divided by 1. So that is 3 minus 2 which is equal to 1 here. Right. And the, finally the third term is you have to hide these two columns. So when you hide these two columns, the multiplication will be 1 into 1 minus 0 into 1 divided by 1. So that gives you 1 minus 0 which is equal to 1. Right. So whenever the first term is 0, we have to replace this 0 by epsilon and we have to proceed our route array. So when you replace this by epsilon, then what is the next step? You have to multiply. As usual, you have to find s to the power 3 rho that is epsilon into 3 minus 1 into 1 divided by epsilon. So that gives 3 epsilon minus 1 by epsilon. Okay. The second term is again hide this column and multiply that is epsilon into 2 minus 1 into 1 divided by epsilon. So that gives 2 epsilon minus 1 by epsilon. Right. The next step is finding s square rho. So the procedure is you have to multiply this term with 1 minus this term with epsilon divided by this corner element. Right. You see here I had written the steps. So when you write these two cancel each other and here we are having the remaining terms 3 epsilon minus 1 by epsilon minus of 2 epsilon minus 1. Here we, are, we have to take LCM that is this epsilon will get multiplied with this term. So when you multiply minus 2 epsilon into epsilon gives minus 2 epsilon square and this minus into minus becomes plus so plus 1 into epsilon gives plus epsilon right and the remaining terms remain as such. And here this epsilon and this epsilon cancels each other and finally we are having the answer as this right. Now this is our first term. So here I am writing it on here. Okay, this is our first term. Now we are going to calculate our second term. So how to calculate our second term? The procedure is you have to hide this column and you have to multiply. So when you multiply this term multiplied by 1 minus 0 into epsilon again divided by this term. So these two terms will, be, will get cancelled. That is we will be having same term in both the numerator and denominator. I will, be, I will be having this term. So those two cancel each other and finally we will be having the answer as 1. Right. And the next step is finding s to the power 1 row. 
So the same procedure, this term gets multiplied with this term minus this one gets multiplied with this term, right. So this is quite bigger, so I am writing it in a new page. So this is the expression obtained, we have to solve this expression. So here I am just combining these two terms, I am writing together because these two are in multiplication, right. So you see I have combined this numerator into numerator divided by this denominator into denominator minus this term 3 epsilon minus 1 by epsilon, right. So, the next thing is we have to take LCM because here I am having epsilon into 3 epsilon minus 1 but whereas here I am having epsilon alone. So, I have to multiply this term both numerator and denominator by this 3 epsilon minus 1, right. So, that is we are going to take LCM, that's it, right. So, here this term get multiplied with this term. So we are having 3 epsilon minus 1 the whole square and this entire term gets divided by epsilon into 3 epsilon minus 1 divided by and this denominator term remains as such. Right. When you compare your numerator and denominator, the denominator terms of both numerator and denominator are equal. That is 3 epsilon minus 1 is present in numerator as well as in denominator. So these two terms cancels each other. And finally, we are doing a multiplication. You see, this 2 epsilon gets multiplied with these terms. So, minus 2 epsilon square into 2 epsilon gives you minus 4 epsilon cube. And again, 4 epsilon into 2 epsilon gives you 4 twos are 8, 8 epsilon square. And again, minus 1 into 2 epsilon gives minus 2 epsilon, right? Again, this minus 1 gets multiplied with all these terms. So here minus 1 into minus 2 epsilon square gives you plus 2 epsilon square. Minus 1 into plus 4 epsilon gives you minus 4 epsilon. And minus 1 into minus 1 gives you plus 1. Right. Minus. And this is under the formula A minus B whole square. The formula is A square. In the place of A, I am having 3 epsilon. And in the place of B, I am having 1. So A square will be 9 epsilon square plus b square will be 1 square is again 1 minus 2ab. That is 2 into in the place of a I am having 3 epsilon in the place of b I am having 1. So here 3 twos are 6 so I am having minus 6 epsilon and divided by this denominator term. Right. So when I when you combine the terms together that is minus 4 epsilon cube because there are no epsilon cube terms here so write this as such. So 8 epsilon square plus 2 epsilon square gives you 10 epsilon square and again minus 2 epsilon and minus 4 epsilon gives you minus 6 epsilon right and this plus 1 as such and I am moving this negative sign inside the bracket so I am getting minus 9 epsilon square minus 1 and plus 6 epsilon divided by this denominator term. Right. So here minus 6 epsilon and plus 6 epsilon get cancelled and this plus 1 and minus 1 get cancelled. And finally we, are, we will be having an expression as. So this is our expression minus 4 epsilon q plus epsilon square divided by this denominator term. Since epsilon square is present in both the terms sorry we can take. That is, we are taking epsilon commonly outside. When you take epsilon outside, the remaining terms are minus 4 epsilon square plus epsilon divided by this denominator term. And here this numerator and denominator epsilon get cancelled. And finally, we are getting the answer as 4 epsilon square minus epsilon divided by this 2 epsilon square minus 4 epsilon plus 1. Right. This is the first term of s to the power 1 row. So here I had written that one and the second term there are no values when you hide this one. So the second term of S1 row is 0. Right. We are finding finally S to the power 0. That is this term gets multiplied by 1 minus 0 into this term is 0. So this term multiplied by 1 divided by again this term. So both the terms are same. So we are getting S0 value as 1 here. Right. And the next step is we are going to substitute the value of epsilon as 0. Let us see what happens when you substitute epsilon as 0. So this is our route array. When you substitute the value of epsilon as 0, this term is 0, right? So again here when you substitute it as 0, so 0 minus 1 by 0. 
right so finally minus 1 divided by 0 which is nothing but minus infinity since i am getting minus sign here i am writing as minus infinity again here when you substitute epsilon as 0 what happens you will be getting 0 minus 1 by epsilon which is again sorry 0 again minus 1 by 0 which is nothing but minus infinity right so when you substitute in s square term f this is 0, this is 0 and this is 0. So, minus 1 by minus 1 which will give you plus 1 here and this one remains as such. And again when you substitute epsilon as 0, here what happens? 0, right. This is 0, this is 0 and again divided by 0, 0 and finally 1. So, 0 divided by anything is again 0. So, this is our modified Routh array when you substitute the value of epsilon as 0, right. So, here I had written that modified Routh array after substituting the value of epsilon as 0, right. So, when you observe the Routh array, check whether there are any row of zeros. So, when you look at S1 here, it has row of zeros, right. As there is no term here, we can assume here as 0. So, this S1 has row of zeros. Whenever there are row of zeros, what to do? We have to find the axillary equation. The row which is previous to the row of zeros, row give you the axillary equation. And here the axillary equation is the maximum power is S square, right? So, we have to write it in even terms. So, S square plus 1, that is 1 into S to the power 0. But S to the power 0 is again 1, right? So, here our axillary equation is S square plus 1. Again, when you solve this equation, you see S square is equal to this plus 1 becomes minus 1 when you move this side. And when you take square root, you are having plus or minus root of minus 1. And square root of minus 1 is nothing but plus or minus j. So, this shows that the roots are located on the imaginary axis, right? You see, I am having one root as plus j and another root as minus j, right? That's all I saw. I stop part number one of the problem here. Tomorrow we will continue the second part. Thank you.